Hey nail dolls, Monavi here, and today we are going to be doing some rainbow cloud nails. So I started out with two coats of this light blue linear hollow that's really pretty and it's from Color Club. Just a heads up, I did get Final Cut Pro, but I've decided not to use it because I already edited this video before. And now I'm just applying a quick dry top coat from Glisten and Glow. It's called HK Girl. I've used this top coat so many times before and I ultimately love it. It's my one of my favorites besides Seche Feet. Okay, now we're going to peel off the, these cloud vinyls from the sheet. These are called cl cloud vinyls, obviously, and they're from What's Up Nails. They're my favorite website. You should go check them out. Now I just press down the vinyl on the nail and make sure to get the corners. Now we're just going to mix together one drop of red nail polish and one drop of clear nail polish. Make sure it's clear nail polish and not quick dry top coat. Hey, you can see me. And I'm just gonna call this the IJM Intensified Jelly Mixture because I have no clue what else to call it because the hollow kind of peeks through. That's why I mixed it with the clear nail polish. And I'm going to do this with every other color of the rainbow, so I'm gonna speed that part up later. So now on a brush, it's a not an angled brush, it's just a regular flat nail art brush. I'm taking the red jelly mixture and I'm just brushing it diagonally into the corner of my nail. With all of the other colors, I'm going to make a blended rainbow essentially, so I'm starting with red. And as you can see, the hollow does kind of show through. That only happened for a couple of the colors, sadly, but whatever. So now I'm just going to do with all the other colors of the rainbow, like I just said. And I sped this up a lot because I didn't want to show you guys. That would take a long time. But um, yeah, I'm just doing it with yellow now. With the yellow was a little different story because they didn't mix enough clear nail polish into it and it was a little more opaque. Same with green, but with the blue and purple, I think we were fine. I didn't have jelly polishes for all of the colors of the rainbow, so that was part of the problem. I used a neon and some creams. I'm planning on getting jelly polishes, so look for that in a future nail video if you're watching this from the future. But I'm on purple, which is the last color, and now I'm just gonna peel off the vinyl, and I did have some difficulties with my peel off base coat, so just know that if you're gonna do this. And yeah, that kinda dried. Oops. I'm just gonna press that down and do all my necessary cleanup around the nail, and I think it turned out pretty well, except there was like no contrast, so I decided to outline the clouds in green. Like, you can't really see them. They don't really look like clouds, just like animal print or blobs or something. I ended up getting like a more cartoony look than I wanted, but what can you do, right? So I'm just outlining it with black. P.S. It's really hard to freehand under a camera just just to let you know so don't try this if you're filming it but yeah i just sped this part up because i that would again take way too long so now i'm just applying a top coat remember to wait at least 15 or 20 minutes before doing this because you don't want to smudge the black like i accidentally did right there learn from my mistakes <laughs> okay I hope you enjoyed this look. I actually really liked it in the end, even though I wasn't really going for a cartoony look. It turned out pretty great. So remember to subscribe to my channel for more nail art videos like this one, and possibly on Final Cut, which is a lot better than iMovie. <laughs> Have a nailful day. Bye, guys.